right, a time for a Nidalee game. Uh, I'll be playing this one against a Nocturne here, which is definitely not a good matchup for me. Like, specifically, I 1v1ing that dude will be incredibly hard. He has a spell shield, he can use that for my spear. Fear, like, he just has a lot of dive potential as well. Things are pretty uh, annoying against that champion. Um, the elo of this game is talking like gold 2-ish. However, the enemy Nocturne is a smurf with like 90% win rate as well. So maybe, maybe he makes it a like interesting jungle matchup for me. Who knows? <laughs> Nidalee is an incredibly difficult champion to play. Uh, so yeah, I will show you how to do it. But know that she is going to be very difficult to play. I could meme it in the uh, in the title. She's the easiest champion in the game or something like that and see who watches the first minute of the game or just doesn't skip ahead until the jungle clear starts, you know? <laughs> we'll, we'll see. If you see it in the comments, you know what happened. All right, cool. Um, just going to start over here on blue. I'm going to clear it down because I have very good setup in my bot lane ganks. Like, my bot lane is insane to gank for. Ash and Leona is so free. So we're definitely going to look there, especially against like an immobile ADC like Jinx. We're absolutely going to be looking bots for ganks. And top lane Nasus is just gonna chill under his turret most likely too. Like, I don't think much is gonna happen there. So I then Q for damage. Do this, hit the uh, attack speed increase here as well. And just keep switching between your styles essentially once you get your skills used. And yeah, as you can see, you could just rotate between everything and it's fine. If you land your Q, your R comes off cooldown as well, by the way. So makes it easy. Just auto attack this down so we can spear the big wolf here. Make sure they're weaving their auto attacks here and there as well. Like as many auto attacks in there as possible, otherwise you're going to lose clear speed. Did I? Whoa! Okay, I just lost like a hit there for no reason. Good. As soon as that gets in range for the big raptor, we throw it, throw the W down and then just jump in. Aggression on mid lane is pretty high here. I'm just going to finish my full clear. Like, I would recommend everyone to just full clear, especially in lower rated games, because let's say I go mid here, Vygar makes a mistake, throws his lead. I spend all that time, and it's just going to be much worse. I especially don't want to do this against another jungler that you can capitalize for sure. Okay. That is the most surprising invade ever. That is very, very ballsy to invade like that. I respect it. He didn't respect me at all, but fair play. I didn't expect that. Like, that, that smite still caught me off guard for sure. I didn't know. I don't know why that is a thing, but fair. Very interesting. He gets my red buff like that, but he loses jungle tempo off of it, so I don't really mind it that much. What do you mean? Oh, that both flashed and insta barrier too. What? Oh, this guy's just... No, I threw my spear wrong. I'm bad. I should have thrown it more to the wall. I don't know why I didn't. That doesn't make any sense what I just did. Nocturne's gonna be here soon. I have some time to spend. This is fine. And then it'll, that, that, oh, sorry. The Jinx should have died. Am I, me throwing my spear the way I did was incredibly troll. That's not gonna hit. Yeah, I know. Hard ah, man. Oh, this is dive. You're just dead to Nocturne now, both of you. This is really bad. Nocturne just has two kills. That dive is not good. The fact that Nocturne just get two kills like that. I should have killed the, the Jinx here, though. Missing my spear there by not just throwing it between the turret and the wall is very, very bad on my part. Like, I, that's really not good. Cost me a lot there. Especially since Nocturne just gets literally a double kill for free. So playing against this Nocturne now is going to be almost impossible, which is absolutely amazing. <laughs> That's gonna hurt so bad. I guess if it was four with red buff there, they, they Jinx would have died regardless. Flash barrier was instantly used as well. All right, that's definitely not good. I'll be feeling that one this game for sure because Nocturne also got a double kill. Just gonna hope that I can return enough ganks on bot lane with both summoners down for it to be fine. I'm not going top here because that would be bad for me. I need to actually clear my camps now and not lose too much. All right, this is uh, it's gonna get very interesting now. That that red invade was absolutely like mental. Like I don't know why he did that. That's so inconsistent with a flip. Because if I just smite that and he doesn't get it, he just instantly loses the game. That's why I wasn't expecting it, especially from a Smurf. Like something like that, you would expect more from just randoms. I just don't know anything. 
because you know at that point it's like yeah they just think it's like a fine situation but this somehow worked for the guy very interesting clear this keep going i just need to keep my jungle tempo up as much as possible here as long as i clear on a decent pace it'll be fine can do this and hopefully go for the bolt gank that'd be nice I'm assuming this Nocturne is just gonna chill and play for the Void Grubs or something, or play like... Something like that. Okay. They're under turret, it's doable. Ah, this is warded, so lovely. It's not gonna be much I can do here, I think. I'm down to go. I'm not getting any of these kills. I'm not gonna die to this, but yeah. Void grubs down, obviously, that makes sense. She went a little early on that dive. I'm most likely losing my blue here. That's what I'm expecting, at least. Don't know if Ash is close to hitting six or not. I need to back. I'm gonna lose my blue already. I've already lost it. Okay. I feel like when I would have gone slightly later, that would have been nice, but she didn't, so whatever, I guess. Let's take this. Move out of base. I definitely lost my blue. I'll be surprised if I didn't. If he goes for some type of red buff invade like he did, he definitely takes my blue here. Be uh, interesting. Okay, that's going to be a top angle. I'm just going to have to try to move there. Definitely took the blue, right? Yep. Yes. I need to go... I don't know if I make this. Dude, you're joking, please. Oh, I got in range. Absolutely beautiful. Very good. That is huge for me, by the way. I got him into the Q path for the walk. My Tranemir played smart actually going down. We can dive this, maybe? Nocturne's still dead for like two seconds. go back out i'll take the initial aggro he can do just fine very good very very good i'm gonna take the recall now all right that works that's huge get a nice double kill on top lane there i perfectly was able to throw the spear straight into the face of the uh, nocturne running down Ooh, i think i still go top side first here I, I can't actually i can't i have to go both side camps i have to leave my top side camps up right now because this Nocturne definitely would like to invade, and I'm assuming the play he's going to make is just going to go for my bot side camps, because he doesn't know if I actually recalled there or not. So I'd have to go bot side camps first here. Okay, he doesn't do that. Fine. It's better to defend my camps, though, so I'll still do it anyway, even though, like, I can't take my top side camps right now. That's fine. Oh, this is bad. I need to, like, really, please don't do it. Ash has no mana, no ult. I don't want them to die to this right now. I I have to go bot here. They're staying. Ugh, I don't want this. I really hope they just recall right now. Just please reset. I beg. Oh, they're not going to reset. I have to go bot then. If I don't go bot here right now, then it's just bad. Because they're going to get Nocturne ulted soon. Interesting. Oh, this is really bad. Damn. I mean, I can't get into this at all. They're just going to be either alive or dead. Yeah, they're just dead. It's not enough damage. It's too much. My bot lane refused to back away, which is really bad. Playing after that, it's like, yeah, what do you do? The Sandra ult and the other ult as well. I don't know if Vigar wants to do this. It's possible to do this, but... Wait, they're not doing Dragon? I really need my Vigar to just rotate right now. Like, he's absolutely trolling me completely. Yeah, that's just disgusting. All right, lovely. Uh, 
Alright, got that guy out of the way. Okay, flash barrier. Don't know where she went, to be honest. Leona refuses to actually give me vision there, so it is what it is. She needed to give me some vision across the corner for that to be a thing. Just wait in this bush here. In the meantime, I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to use my W, though. I'm just going to be very sparing with my skills. I'm not going to Q or W. We're just going to hit it down with this. Smite it here as well. Need to have my skills ready to go as they walk past it. Whoever this is, it's just going to be Jinx most likely, but yeah, let's just wait. They're very slow, though. I'm, I'm going to be just be patient at this point. We're here. Place a trap down. I missed... I saw, I'm so bad at the game. Yeah, sorry. My bad. Good job. I was just a terrible spear, like... No other way to put it, just an absolutely horrendous spear. But yeah, we wait for Jinx there absolutely 100% of the time. She's going to walk back to her lane, guaranteed. This guy needs to run, like, fast. I'm going to get the Magi's here. I know I can buy boots and all, but at the moment I have 10 stacks, so it gives me 10% movement speed, which makes it fine. Jenna ran up here, so they have Bull Turret for free. We lost Void Grubs, but I'm not going to, like, try to contest that. I'm assuming he's going for my, red, uh, for my blue buff, most likely. He did it earlier. Heal. Just heal him again. Good kill. That works. Heal him again. It's gonna sustain my uh, my top laner there. I think there is a chance I would have lost my blue still if this Nocturne is an absolute maniac. He's not. A, he's not that much of a maniac. Uh, mid lane's dead for overextending, disrespecting Nocturne ult. I don't think he lives at all. I don't think there's a chance he lives now. It's just too greedy. Fair enough. I've got to clear my topside camps now, so we're going to be on that. We're looking very strong at the moment, though. Oh, you're going for that Nocturne build? Okay, you are an absolute maniac, my boy. What is that? I'll take it. I will take it. Okay, Nocturnal's down. He's definitely going to be on his red buff here. I need to just clear my bot side camps. I need to cut some camps out here. Because I'm a bit behind on XP at the moment, which is definitely not too good. I've got a lot of plays made, but I'm definitely not looking that good on, like, XP tempo right now. However, my bot lane, because of it, is very far ahead, so I'm very happy with that. Like, they're doing really well. I need to now rotate to get the backup on bot lane going. So this way I can be there for them. Get that out of the way. Play some traps across here. Let's get this. I don't know what my team wants to do here. Just need to get like a good angle on this. Slightly across here. No, that's bad. I'm so dead here. Like, there's nothing I can do here. Yeah, my Vigar isn't rotating either. He's AFK mid, I think. Like, why are you literally AFK? Like, so disgusting. Uh, fair enough, enemy team. They got a good play on it. Vigar didn't want to listen to ping, so he just died there. I, I hate stuff like that. That's just like one of those where Vigar is literally just doing nothing. Very sad. Could have been a free win. Like one cage there instantly wins us the entire team fight. Not even memeing. Like one good cage placement for AoE stunts. Team fight's over. <laughs> I have eight kill participation. What are you talking about? All right, fine, Vigar. Whatever you want, buddy. Oh, 
All right, whatever he wants. He's not going to play the game anymore. He's apparently tilted that I didn't gank for him when I literally ganked for the entire team. I didn't get the smites, and Vigar still AFK mid. Like, look at them, man. <laughs> look at you. Like, actually look at you. Absolutely inhuman. Holy moly. That's yeah, fine. I don't mind. It's fine. I'm just going to mute him. We're going to move on. It's just a free fight, but he didn't want to once again. He got the smite as well. This is bad. I need to not tilt because I'm clearly tilting right now. Like, this play completely tilted me. The fact that he AFK'd that play is disgusting. It is just completely tilting me. Not good. Gotta mute, gotta refocus. Really gotta get some CS in there because it's bad. I lost all my Magi stacks as well. It's looking pretty bad at the moment. Uh, he wastes his TP on the turret. Absolutely great. Lovely. Thank you, Vygar. You are the biggest gamer I've ever seen. Uh, it's not going to be doable, this. Okay, he tanked the spear. I think the spear may have actually hit that if it hit. There's nothing I could do. I, uh, coming back from this, I don't think it's possible. Like, legitimately. That Vigar AFK is just disgusting. It's not going to be playable anymore, I don't think. I'm too tilted as well. I, I'm noticing that. I'm going to get flanked here by Lissandra. Like our focus is nothing. That kind of works. That's a good ash slow. That works. That will do. That'll do. Okay, that was something. That was indeed a something. In the jungle, I have a lot more mana regeneration, so I can just do this still. I'm going to take this guy's camps while I have the opportunity. I just recover. Don't tilt too much. I definitely, definitely tilted. Still slightly tilted. Not going to lie. But it will be fine. That play was good for us. Yeah, you're going to die. I'm not, I'm not even going to care. I'm not going to try to save that. Like, I just not. Got to play for myself if I want to win this one. Got to play very, very, very carefully and very much for myself here. Still give Trandomir a solid lead, so that's good. Going to be a Rift Herald use. Ashes bolt. Can I defend this? I'm not sure. We'll see. I did not get the... Ah, oh, that's so sad. I didn't get it to prevent it from, hit the tur from hitting the turret. Heal. Okay. I was really hoping I could prevent it. Oh, wait. It didn't hit the turret. Looks like we're good. Okay, we're good. Did I actually prevent it from hitting? I thought I... I thought it hit the turret. Okay. Fair. We take it. Bolt scuttle, hopefully... Is it here? It is. Good. Okay, okay. Need to get Leandris. Leandris will be huge. Okay, team's doing good. Ash is doing good. Vigar one shots. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, wh whoa, you instant. Okay, I'm gonna have to flash. He instantly was ready for that. Like, right away. Damn. That was a bit too overzealous for me, I suppose. I didn't expect him to instantly be ready to like be there. I didn't see him, so I need to create distance here. Sadly, not much I can do. Can't see anything either. Now this is over. They overextended again. Nothing new. Get rid of that thing. Maybe if I'm fast, I can. Oh, they're going for Baron. Looks like they're going for Baron. That is the correct call, I think, yeah. That would make sense. Um, Nothing I can do, I think. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about this. My team overextended once again and died. 
It's uh, pretty classic at this point. Like, they, they, they just keep walking forward the entire time, and at some point it just ends, because Nocturne and Lissandra are going to return and engage that. That's Baron, yep. We definitely have to go Dragon, this is true. This is just going to be a hope for the best type of situation. All right, going to have to do Dragon here to trade at least. And the enemy team cannot contest this Dragon. If they are, if they do they somehow contest this Dragon, that'd be criminal. Because they, they decided to trade Baron for it, so... Yeah. Should be fine. Let's get my bot side camps here. Quite a substantial amount of money right now. Getting close to the Leandris. I need to clear my bolt side camps, need to get Leandris. Leandris will be a massive item upgrade for me at the moment. And my team red buff here before Nocturne gets into my bolt side camps. It looks like I cannot take my own Krug, sadly. Do I have enough money for it? I do. Okay, we're good. Alright, I can purchase my Leandris, which is going to be huge. I am not that tilted anymore, which is also huge. <laughs> it should be okay. I should be fine. Alright, Wolf Camp will be level 13, so I'm gonna need that. I need one kill to get my 10 stack Magi's back. Which is also huge. That's gonna be bot lane, yep. That's just criminal placement positioning from the ADC against the Nocturne. You, like, he, he walked up into this position. Like, even that is too far. She needs to be under turret, otherwise it's just too far. Okay. That dude has a large amount of armor. It's gonna get worse. Okay. I will be able to kill that guy fairly effectively. Fortune's in a pretty comfortable position at the moment, sadly. I guess we just go for this here. Can I? No, Ash doesn't have ult. Okay, I see. That's a good kill. It's a good hit on Jinx as well. That's bad. I don't see anything anyway. And he flashes as well. I hate Nocturne Ultimate so much. Oh, well, Trenimir coming in huge, though. The, the blind from Nocturne Ultimate makes it impossible to play that, sadly. That's fine. I can chase like that because there's no threat directly. Or you just tank a turret for no reason, that makes sense. Let's heal this guy a little bit, I suppose. I need to stand inside of the jungle right now and just do this guy's camps to regenerate my stuff. Pretty sure his red should be up. Yes, it is. The Trenimir just made a huge cleanup play there. That was beautiful. I'm sad that I just couldn't see anything, because if I could see that fight better, that would be absolutely nice, but I can't. Oh, that's a Lissandra TP. It's going to be a completely dead situation here. I see nothing as well, so I'm going to have to now respect everything here. Damage. Viger has enough wave clear. They don't have the potential to push here, I don't think. Let's play some traps down. Maybe a spear here. Nothing. This guy just went bolt. Throw a spear there. Yep. Am 
my mana is not looking good at the moment. I need to flash there properly. I cannot move for 20... F no, you took my... Am I alive? Holy moly. He took my heal, damn. Oh, I misclicked on him. One spear should be enough damage for that to be fine, and I'm just gonna back. Oh, that almost ended badly because I healed the Trandomir instead. Alright, this is fine, fine still. Let's get the death cap next. It's good, it's good. It's fine. Oh, I mean, I survived it barely because Lissandra ran out of skills to cost. But that heal needed to go on me and it just didn't. Because <laughs> I misclicked badly. We have to do the objective guard. Oh, God. Okay, well, I guess we're going for the fight. I don't see anything, so we're going to have to hope a little. Heal my Vigar. Okay, disengage completely perfect. Fine. Right, we definitely outskilled him on that front. We are fine, I think. Fine, good. At least Vigar is no longer per my AFK. That helps. Also helps me mentally, because I was definitely getting tilted by it. <laughs> definitely got tilted by it. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Getting a lot of assists here, but that's okay. That guy's gonna back. I need to really get some CS still. I'm a bit low for sure. Like, definitely low here. You have 16 out of 21 kill participation, which is absolutely colossal. Ah, that's very good. If she steps up here, it's free. I don't think she will, but if she does, it's free. Maybe? Yes. It's good poke, good poke damage. I'm gonna throw my spear probably there. Good damage. Decent chunk on that guy. Throw another one over here. Maybe here. I need to be in the jungle while I do this so I have the mana regeneration to be able to do this. It's good damage on Jenna. I think it's probably... Okay, she's body blocking me a bit. Maybe here. And the slow actually made me miscalculate that a bit, but it should be fine. We can Baron. It's just an insta Baron after killing the enemy jungler. Absolutely. Let me actually place a trap here. I'm gonna heal my Trendemir so he gets the attack speed. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, Ash actually crit there or something? That Jinx Rocker did a serious amount of damage to Baron. Damn, that was close. Didn't smite it there, but yeah, it wasn't necessary, I guess. I got another recall for another large world here, so I'll do this. Get back on the map with my team here. I wish I would have gotten a couple of extra kills instead of 11 assists. Or 12, sorry. Assists, because then I probably would have been able to get like a death cap now, which would have been huge. Plus 25 stack Magi's. Gonna sweep here. My Ash took my Croc, so I need to find some other way to hit level 16 now. Not too happy about that. I need to respect Nocturne at the same time. Can't be walking into things too casually. I need this Gromp. It's not level 16 yet. Damn. Please Wolves be up, I beg. Damn it. I really want that level 16, man. It should be okay. I don't like this position that much, though. I did hit 16 just now. But it's a trap here. I'm going to stand behind my team right now. They need to be very careful for not to get engaged here. Play some traps. Throw a spear here. Does hit the Jinx. That's just like half her HP gone. That was good. If I go for that wave, I die to Nocturnal, so I can't. My, my Vi got recalled here, so I need to respect that recall. And the fact that Ash is also mid. Hit the plant. Yeah, he kind of died. <laughs> my trap procced it, and then he got hit anyway. 
I'm placing enough traps down here to like do some good damage with it. It's fine. I need to just see him. Can I move today, please? That'd be greatly appreciated. I need to disengage for a second. This should be fine. Walk away, don't let her kill me. I, right there, I just have to play with respect, because the Lissandra is fully committing to killing me, so I just need to play to survive. If she focuses all of it on me, that's fine. I can heal my Vigar again. Just get him back to full HP right here, that's my goal right now. Throw a spear, just get some poke in there if I can. Heal my Vigar again. Vigar's practically full HP, so I'm gonna heal myself next. Being able to sustain my team like this is huge. I heal myself here. Hit the spear, maybe. Throw some traps down. Heal my Leona. That should be a dead Gnosis. It's not gonna be because of Jenna ult, okay? I'll heal my Vigar one more time, but I'm out of mana. We have to do Dragon as well, so I don't want to overextend again like they usually do. I want to do the blue first because it's up and then I can have my re mana regenerating as they would fight for the dragon. But it should be fine and now we can just fight for dragon. We should actually clear the plant here real quick. Place another trap down, get some vision. Point that out. That was a very good reaction time there. I'll heal my Lona once, see if he's going to try some randomness. Maybe Nocturne ult goes down here, I'm not sure, I'll wait. Bro, get Nocturne ulted myself, that would be bad. A bad wall hop. I do have my death cap here, which is going to be absolutely huge. Just getting a large amount of assists here. The most prominent reason why is because I'm obviously like landing some spears up front for some good poke damage, that's fine. But then Lissandra keeps full on like straight ulting me every fight. Like, <laughs> surviving that's one thing, you know, and they just have to peel back and just play safe. Nocturne's darkness also makes it relatively tricky for me to uh, to do stuff. Gonna get, like Nocturne ult needs, needs to be respected here. If he walks up too far, he dies. Hmm. Okay. Could have thrown that spear earlier if I think if, if I knew she was gonna be that like hard-headed and recalling in that position. That's an Ash ult, that's good. It does it is not. One shot is Lissandra. Flash away from this, give this guy attack speed, and we're good. Land a good spear there. Okay, run. Give myself a heal here. Still in combat there, this is fine. Need to heal myself again. 700 heals are huge. You are an absolute mental... Can I get the heal before? Okay, you can't. That is an aggressive teleport on that HP. Damn, Vigar. I don't know if I can heal him in time. I did. Give him some health back there. It's gonna zone the Jinx here, so she can't get in between this. Hit the turret with a Lich Bane proc. And she's dead. Spicy game. A uh, last item here would have been probably a Banshees, honestly. I would have considered Void Staff, however. Um, I think Banshees is required because I was getting perma engaged by Lissandra Ultimate, so probably defensive, you know. However, that was it for, uh, for Nidalee. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like button below. And yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the endgame stats, actually. All right, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing a solid 30k damage on par with Trendemir and Vigar, which is very good, especially considering they heavily scale. So very good damage, good poke damage at that. Not bad at all. Uh, true damage at 2200. We have objective damage at only 18k. This was a bit of a uh, problem situation because I lost a lot of direct objective pressure after losing that big fight where... Vigar AFK twice on the mid wave, just completely refused to play. And that definitely tilted me as well. So, and I mean, Nocturne got away with a bunch of it. Uh, healing done at 38.3, damage taken at 41.2, which is actually the most, interestingly enough. Uh, self I mean, I, to be fair, I got engaged on a lot by this Lissandra, so I guess it makes sense. Self mitigated 21k, gold earned at 14k. 
respectable to be on par with the rest. Tranemir is obviously a little ahead here. He got a bunch of shutdowns as well, I believe. Not too bad. For the Ruins, Conquer healed me for 200, but the adaptive damage is a lot more relevant. You just don't see that here. Uh, we have Triumph for the 1700 HP. Legend Haste for the uh, like ability Haste, of course. Just go get more spears and have more heals in there. Cut down for the extra poke damage. Transcendence for the extra ability haste, like flat. It gives 10 flat ability haste. Also, seconds refunded is nice, but it's more so about the flat. And then water walking with that. Uh, build wise, here, I probably would have just, again, Banshees in this spot. And then I would have sold my boots most likely for a Void Staff at the very end. Because um, I would have had enough movement speed with both Magi's and Lich Bane to be fine on the movement speed department. And the Void Staff would be required, absolutely. Because the enemy team was relatively tanky. But the defensive from, from the Banshees would have helped me survive the Lissandra constantly engaging on me. So I kind of needed that first. Uh, but yeah, very spicy in Italy game. Managed to not tilt. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure the like button below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.